Welcome to the Philip Sadiq Show. Red Carpet, the new film on Netflix, comes out June 6. As you know, if they're here, we get them. I'm telling you, it's a fantastic film. The same folks who made The Matrix, they made this film. So kick back, relax, get all your, all your stuff in a row. You're going to enjoy all the interviews that we had a chance to get. We'll see you soon. How are you? Good, thank you. My so pleasure exciting. to meet you. Yes. Now tell us about your character in this, in this film. Um, my character's name is Daniela. She uh, is the one that goes around the story of Lido, which is Miguel Angel Silvestre. We're, we're the Mexican side, the Latino side. Uh, hola. <laughs> Exacto, hola. Um, she's, uh, she wants to be an actress. She's very uh, fame hungry. And Lido is a very, very, very successful star in Mexico. So she tries to get into his life and ends up in his life, in his bed, in his heart, and bringing everything to, to happen in his story. So I'm excited. Now, with your audition, where were you when they called you and said, we want you for this film, and how did it make you feel? This is hilarious. So I'm really hard to get a hold of because I'm really bad with my cell phone. It's always on silence. So they couldn't find me to tell me. And I was like, I kept on seeing my phone. I was like, who is this person that I don't recognize a phone number? Like, why are they calling me? And I'd put it away. And all of a sudden, my manager started blowing up my phone. And I answered it, but he's like, you really have to call back the casting director. And I was like, okay, that's weird. So I called her back and she's like, I just wanted to tell you that you got the part. And I just started crying. Cause for me, this is like, it was just surreal. I, I admire the Wachowskis so much and James McTeague also, the director of the part of Mexico, that it was, it was out of this world. It still, it still is. I can't believe what I'm about to watch. It's insane. <laughs> No. I mean, did you scream? Did you crush your phone? I mean... No, I mean, I just, I kind of just sat in silence and bawled. <laughs> I just started crying. I was just like sitting there and Fred, my husband, he was like, what's going on? It was like, I got the part. He's like, you should be screaming. I was like, I don't have enough air in my body to scream right now. I was so excited. I was so speechless. To me, it's, it's been the greatest blessing, mostly because of the most amazing people that I have had the opportunity to meet. Fantastic. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> See that? Bringing friends together and everything else. Exactly. Everything started here in San Francisco, our, our table read, and we all met, and we haven't seen right? each other since, so it's just exciting to see our faces. <laughs> wow. That is fantastic. Now, basketball, who, who do you like? Golden State Warriors, right? Obviously, the Warriors. In Mexico, we don't do a lot of the basketball situation, but I'm excited. Yeah, go Warriors. Thank you. You like her. Thank you. Thank you. I can't wait to see this. Uh, we saw trailers. It was like, I know. holy, you know, <laughs> can't say it, but, you know, we just yeah. can't wait to see it. Oh, I'm so, so excited also. Good luck with everything. Thank you. I can't wait. I can't wait to see your face. Do you get after. to fight? I don't, I don't, I get to be fought over. Oh, okay. But I don't get to fight. I get, like, okay. pushed around, and, and they fight over me. That's about it. <laughs> All beautiful women, they fight over me. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, too. We hug, we kiss. Okay. It's the way we do.